let he who is with joy be joyful before the Lord. A troubled heart cannot serve Jesus. If you know the Holy Spirit, you will be at rest and at peace. I asked a question. I say, do you think that you are demon-possessed? Do you think you have ghosts disturbing you? The evangelists who think that there are ghosts and demons harming, disturbing them, or they are still unsure of they have an evil spirit or not. They are not named. How can you minister to others when you yourself are unsure whether an evil spirit is attacking you or not? But we still love you. This is why you are still an evangelist. You still can minister today, but at the backup line. All right? Please do not let your hearts be troubled by what other evangelists say to you privately on WeChat or on WhatsApp. Some evangelists, once they see, once they see that their name is not there on the list, they didn't even come to this meeting already. You see. But, but if God is by your side, no matter what, you still come to this meeting because you know that God will still welcome you. If I am an evangelist, and my pastor did not put me in the list, I will still come because I know that me and God are connected. Anyways, I am simply acting on what your mouth speaks. If you say that an evil spirit is harming you, you yourself know that you can't be the one praying or counseling others. And for those who wanted a frontline position, you have desired a noble task. You will be the one whom the Holy Spirit will choose to act through if you are willing. If my day is bad, I can still be a frontline evangelist because a day with Christ is like a thousand years. Let me tell you a story. Some four years ago, I was rushing home to attend a online meeting where I am an evangelist. I arrived late. I was rushing for time to the extent that when the pastor is preaching, I am still showering. After finish showering, I quickly come back. It was a bad day, rushing for time and talking to worldly people. But at that day, I still freely ministered powerfully. First, a Christian must know that even if demons are harming you or trying to influence you, your heart must make it clear that you are beyond their touch. Anyways, what is the demons trying to harm you? Uh, some people think that they are demon-possessed simply because their finances are low or they cannot finish their career. That does not mean that you are possessed. Possessed only means you can't pray to God. So if you can pray to God, regardless of whatever that is happening around you and you know that God talked back to you, clearly, you are free indeed. How many times do you need deliverance? I thought the Bible say once you believe in Christ, you are free indeed. Today, you come for prayer. You, you manifest. Next week, you are Jezebel. Next month, you are Lucifer. No, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just you need to know Christ, not you being possessed. So you as an evangelist, you have to ask yourself, why is the person that I'm praying for manifesting? The person is manifesting, crying and confessing that she is a demon simply because she has suffered too much. This is not demonic possession. This is she herself thinks she is possessed. This is why she is manifesting, you know? Psychologically, you think you are possessed because you have suffered so much, your finances are low, 
this is why you're manifesting. But you still can hear God's voice. And God still accept you as his child. Uh, it's just psychologically. You know that those who have a demon in them cannot enter heaven. So in the church now, everybody is manifesting. You mean all your members cannot go heaven? No, they are not demon-possessed. It's just that you make them think that they are demon-possessed. I have a... My heart burns for the evangelists. I want each one of us to grow, to know who they truly are in Christ Jesus. If you are an evangelist, you must know your stand in God. Hello, neighbor. I must know my stand in God. If I now, as a prophet, I come to you, I say, you have a demon. And you know that you do not have. But because I say so, you say you have. It means you do not know your stand in God. Example, I come to Brother Luyando. I say, Brother Luyando, you have a demon. Brother Luyando, know that he do not have a demon. But because I'm a prophet, I speak to him. He say, yes, man of God, I, I, I believe I have a demon. No, you must know your stand in God. You look around all your friends, all the Christians who have went before you in the previous generation. How many times have they been delivered and they still need deliverance? The fact that Peter denied Christ three times does not mean he need to undergo deliverance. Peter, though denied Christ three times, is not demon-possessed. So now if I come to you, I say, you are demon-possessed. And the reason I give you is because uh, you see yourself flying in the dream. But you still can pray. You still can do everything well done. You are still a good minister of God and you do not sin. You should know what to do. You know your stand in God. But if I now come to you, I say, Sister, you are demon-possessed. The sister will now say, uh, Okay, yes, man of God, I, I believe so. Because my finances are low, my children are against me, my husband is outside having an affair with other women. I believe I'm demon-possessed. This whole situation is a fake situation. Forget about other ministries, what you see that they do in their churches. Go back to Jesus Christ. Even when Satan talk and tempt Jesus, he is not demon-possessed. You must know your stand in God. Some, yes, they are demon-possessed, but you, I'm speaking to you, you are not. Be a Christian for five years and still, I believe I'm demon-possessed. Mm. 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 When I pray, mm. Mm. something moving in my back. Eh? Mm. 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 No. I apply for jobs. It never work. I am studying. I never graduate. Mm. Demon is against me. Uh, go now to hear, seek deliverance. Read the Bible, seek deliverance. But the, you know you are demon-possessed when you cannot go to heaven. If you know you can go to heaven because your conscience tells you and you are a Christian, you are not demon-possessed. You just need to know God clearer. So if I now pray for Brother Luyando for three seconds and Brother Luyando never feel anything, he say he is not demon-possessed. Then I move on to another person. I pray for Sister Lipan. Sister Lipan feels, feels something. Uh, if she now thinks that she's demon-possessed, it means it's wrong. Why did Brother Luyando not think that he's demon-possessed? Because I pray for him for three seconds. Why do Sister Li Pan think she is demon-possessed? Because I pray for her for 10 seconds. You know, I keep on saying fire to her. She now thinks that Which she's possessed. Look. Because the pastor say fire to her 10 times. But to others, I only say fire three times. You see, we're all walking by sight now. People want world prophecies. Tell me the exact date. And tell me the exact hour this world event will happen. 
then I will believe in Jesus. But the fact is, Jesus Christ did not even give both prophecy that say the date, the hour. And still you can believe in Jesus. Nah, yeah. 